Hi. Hi. I'm going to show you how you can debug an MPI program with Visual Studio Code. So first of all, uh, we have to make sure we've got the necessary compilers installed in our Linux. Um, G++, MPI C++, MPI run to run the program, GDB for debugging. And when we are happy, we go to the folder that contains um, our source code. Here I've got a um, hello.cpp. And that's my code that I'm going to debug today. Um, let's open it in VS Code. So that's the file, hello.cpp. At the top, we've got uh, mpi.h, which currently got an error. We're going to take care of it uh, soon, but let's have a look at the other lines. We're using namespace std, then we've got MPI in it. It's going to initialize MPI library. Then we're going to assign rank and size of each processor. We've got the data like with character A is going to be overridden by um, the processor zero. Is going to send it to processor one using MPI send. So the data will be sent from one CPU to another. let's fix mpi.h if i hover my mouse over mpi.h error and a yellow bulb appears just click on it and the first line is at the um, open mpi library to this project and just add configuration okay and all done now a new folder is created dot vs code at the left hand side if you just click over, uh, there is a C++ property JSON shows us that the uh, the path added to this project and uh, the open MPI path. Um, the next step is to go to the run view and create a run profile. Let's click on run and debug. Let's select C++, G++. So it tries to compile it, it gets an error because um, um, is run is with a G++, we have to change it to MPI C++. Okay, let's go to task.json. Um, at the top, we've got the type, which is CPP build. We have to change it to shell. Then we have to change the command from G++ to MPI C++. And that's all for this file. Let's go to CPP properties and there we have the same thing. We're changing it um, change compiler to MPI C++ and let's save it. Um, so that's all the changes we need for the tasks.json and ccpp properties. For land.json, um, let's leave it as it is for now. And um, let's go to our program and um, try to compile it. First of all, let's put a, a breakpoint to uh, stop the debugger. and compile it so it successfully compiled the program and it stopped at our break uh, at our breakpoint and then um, the thing is that the size of this mpi program now is one because um, vs code automatically ran it with one cpu uh, so if you want to debug your program with one cpu you're good to go there is no more changes needed you can just um, um, debug your program but in this case because we have a send and receive we face an error so let's go and face that and um, fix that let's go to launch.json um, and I've got some settings and um, I saved it from before I just copy them and paste them in um, 
in uh, launcher json um, it's got request uh, which is change from launch to attach and we're going to attach the debugger to a process and we're going to uh, pick a process by ourselves so i'm going to delete the previous request and any other line um, yellow underline code and that's all for launch.json so let's save save it and close all the properties json files okay that's all um, let's go back to our um, hello.cpp there is one more thing we have to do um, our program gonna run very quick um, we have to just stop it at the beginning so I've got a piece of code here it's just a while loop uh, which contains a sleep command um, it's gonna put the CPUs into a sleep um, it gives us time to attach some debuggers to these processes um, this is sleep code um, needs the needs a unistd header so i'm going to add unistd header here to get rid of this error just have to add dot h here that's good um okay so the code um, runs forever as long as i equal to zero um, we're going to change that uh, during the debug so let's um, close this file and because we've got two cpus um, we, i wanted to debug, debug it with two cpus let's go to command palette and um, duplicate this workspace and we just write duplicate and the first item will be duplicate workspace just click on it and we've got a second workspace um, let's just organize them so left hand side is for one cpu right hand side is for another cpu so let's add some breakpoints to stop the debugger after coming out of this uh, uh, while loop and that's our terminal we need a terminal uh, but before running or uh, our code in the terminal let's build it put terminal at the top and run build task so our code is built successfully using mpi c++ with the debug uh, flag now let's go to our terminal and mpi run the newly compiled program um, hello and it's running and the uh, the processes are stuck now into these blocks that um, we added to our code um, so if we just press play and uh, it's gonna ask us for the process we're gonna search for hello there are two processes um, and one ends with 79 and one with 80 i'm gonna choose 79 for the left hand side and process 80 for the right hand side now i have to just insert um, admin password uh, for both processes that's gonna successfully attach the debugger to these processes okay so the processors are um, stopped Kind of trapped in these blocks and we have to just pause them um, vs code gonna complain about uh, this file um, sleep.c that is not found um, is not important for us let's just step out of this file and uh, pressing twice and we're out to this code with this line while the same for the other one we're at this line uh, so we have to just change i to 1 anything rather than 0 for the right side and for the left side as well so in this way we can um, step out of this block so if we press a step over 
we are out of the left hand side block and this right hand side as well so we are at MPI in it um, the right hand side is going to be uh, uh, stopped waiting for the left hand side to shake hand and we are, to, we are at the next line we are uh, passing rank and size we set rank and size for both of them uh, rank one two for the right hand side and uh, rank is zero at the left hand side uh, if we go forward this this is this one gonna go inside the rank zero block set the data to be and it's gonna mpi send it to the other rank and then we can go forward and we see actually it was an MPI buffer send it just jumped um, to the last line um, so we can go to the right hand side um, it's not going to go into rank 0 jump over it it's going to go to rank 1 MPI received the data now the data is going to change from A to B it successfully received the data from rank 0 and that's all. Um, that's how you can debug an MPI code. If you need more processors, you, you need to duplicate the workspace to more processes and MPI run your program with more processes.